Hey, what's up? It's your man, Nova, AKA the most successful person of all time. All right. And I got a video that is incredibly important. And the thing is this, this right here is going to be the key that unlocks everything for you. Okay. And the reason why is because this is the foundation of everything that involves success. There is a foundation that every single thing that is of success has. And it is a word that starts with R. That word is responsibility. So I'm gonna peel back the layers, explain to you a little bit about why responsibility is the for it's the foundation of all success and i want you to just go ahead and to verify that what i'm telling you is the truth just think of every single person that is highly respected let's say for a star athlete the star athlete let's say like um you know kobe bryant right he's the icon of the clutch moment coming through and being the most responsible person and the way that he showed that he's the most responsible is by outworking everybody, thinking more about the situation than other people. So in that same way for yourself, if you want to actually achieve, you need to be more responsible. You need to put in, you have to be 100, you have to take 100% responsibility for your life if you wanna be able to make something happen. So the thing is, is that that is a tough situation to be in because most people like the convenience, the comfort of saying the situation that they're in now, that they, they are, this is what's just what's happening to them. Their life is hard. They've been, get, they've been dealt the hardest, toughest cards in the world. That's what a lot of people like to believe and to think. But instead, the truth is that most people don't take responsibility for the situation that they're in. And in order for you to actually start seeing that, start seeing the things in your life change, it takes having responsibility. So an example of that is if, you're, if your financial situation is not changing and you're blaming the government, you're blaming um, you know, your family, your parents, you're blaming the rich, you're blaming the, the, the multi, multi levels of corruption that's going on around the world and, 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 and everywhere, right? Make no mistake about it, you have a point. You do have a point, you know, you, you do have a point. But if you want to change your situation, it's going to require the tough thing which is going to be taking full responsibility of the situation. It's somehow completely your fault and you have to embrace it. It's tough, it is a challenging thing to do, but it is the only, it is the foundation of actually making a change. This concept applies to everything in your life. So let's say right now, one of the core things that's been going on around is that there is this, um, this really pointing of the fingers. Who is the bad person in this world, right? Is it men or is it women? Are men bad because we are slaves to our our desires and 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 just filled with um uh, what's it called toxicity or whatever? Or or is it a situation to where the women are at fault? All right, these massage, no, no, what's the, what's the, what's the term? Um, uh, damn, it's not misogynistic, it's, um, damn, hypergamous. Yeah, it's these hypergamous women, they're the bad ones. They're the, they're the ones that are causing issues around the world. It's their hypergamy, they can't help it, they can't take it. They can't, they can't possibly be in the face of, uh, you know, somebody that has more, more influence and more status and be, you know, um, 
loyal or whatever. And um, so you, you know, you you can you can go ahead and point the finger at one person or another. Ultimately, it's this. Here's the question: If you don't take full responsibility of everything in your life, it's not going to change. So, and that what that means is that you have to actually take responsibility for every single thing wrong that you do. You know, and I think that if you look hard in the mirror, some of you you really. Sh we really shouldn't need to look very hard in order to see all the things that you do wrong. Um, you know, you're going to be able to see how you are the one that's causing your situation. You at least have the awareness to see that you're not creating the situation for what you want to actually truly happen. For the thing that you truly desire, you're not creating the situation for that to, to increase the chances that that happens to you. In a lot of cases, the reason why is because you're settling for something else. You might even be chasing something else and hoping that what you truly desire is gonna come to you and chase after you. I know for some reason, a lot of women think that. You know, a lot of women um, that I talk to are, you know, just based off of their, um, when they speak, when you hear them on podcasts, or when you see them on, you know, their, their, their information that they post on, um, on uh, social media about the way that they think, there's always this, if, you know, what's meant for me is going to come to me no matter what. And the answer is no. Like, men, as if you're a man and you think that, you're, 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 you're wrong. So many, most men fail. And the reason why they fail, and I'm not talking about just like, you know, uh, they, they, they just, they missed a strike. No, like, like a lot of people fail, for real. And... The reason why is because they didn't connect the dots truly. You see what I'm saying? And ultimately, it's not a failure if you're able to learn and you're able to proceed, but I'm talking about fail from the perspective of they made a mistake and then from there, they, they count themselves out of the game because of mistakes that they made. And while, you know, on the other hand, a lot of people, especially a lot of women, like I said, they have, they're of the mindset of no matter what wrong they're doing, that something good is going to happen to them in the sense of that they're going to ultimately get what they want. And, I, and then the thing is that a lot of times uh, for, for women, they keep on going on that journey and then they just get bitter out of nowhere. Uh, um, you know, and, you know, I think that the healthy ones will be able to reflect and say that they were the cause of it. It wasn't all men that are just terrible and all that type of stuff. If you're aware, you'll be able to find out how. If you're not, if you're not having, if you're not having the thing that you truly desire, it takes awareness to realize how you're not the one that you're. You're not creating the situation for that to actually happen. You know what I mean? That's just maturity. So the the, the this is in relationships. How taking full responsibility is healthy. How that's going to also unlock the possibility for what you truly desire to happen. And then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to start considering, if you take full responsibility, you'll start considering, okay, how can I create a better possibility that the thing that I desire will truly happen? And that's all you can do in life is that you create the best possibility that the things that you truly desire actually do come about. And, and you just work towards that. And you work towards that and um, you know, um, that's what's worthwhile. And um, um, yeah, that's that's the core of this thing right here, is that taking full responsibility, whether that be in your business life, your financial life, or your your life with your relationships, your your relationship with yourself. Um, if you're if you're holding on to anger, you're holding on to depression, you're holding on to different things with different relation with, from information that you still have in your in your in your life for about relationships that you've had with other people the biggest thing that you can do is to start off by taking full responsibility take full responsibility no matter if you know if you see the information that says yeah these people are conspiring against you yeah the government isn't giving a shit about you the government that's supposed to um you know that's supposed to be created to create the situation to where what you truly desire can happen. Yeah, they're not considering you. 
yeah, there are other 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 countries that are taking advantage of our of our of, of America and, 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 and sending all of their jobs, all of the all of the jobs to people that are from their country. Yeah, but you, you have to you have to take full responsibility in order for you to get what you want. That's just what it is. And that's the that's the definition of what it takes to be a real individual. Is to take full responsibility for your life, for the things that you want. And if if you, if it, things don't go your way, if things don't go your way, ultimately you can be okay with that. Just keep on staying 100% collected in your being about you being fully responsible for every situation. Any situation that you're in, be 100% responsible. All right? It's your man. Nova, once again, the most successful person of all time. All right? I'll see you on the next video. One.